My name is The Boy, a.k.a. El Boyo. And I tell the skaters to shut up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, these sunglasses are so steamed up, I could fucking write shit inside them, right? <laughs> like on a steamy mirror, you know, you can write shit. Yeah. <laughs> you could, you could do that on the inside of my glasses. I'm an artist. I make pictures. You want to see my drawings? This is my board, put out by Skull Skates. My good friend PD, my good friend PD did the drawing of me as El Boyo. And uh, yeah, I used to have this on my wall, but now I'm riding it, so riding my own board, which is great. It's a great board, actually. Tub Tech 4, right? It's uh, got really nice concave. It's really solid, solid Canadian maple. It's a good board. How long have you been doing art for Skull Skates? Uh, since about 93. Yeah, 93. But I've known PD since like 89. Yeah, we've been friends, but uh, we became really good friends later on, around 93, 94, right? When he opened his shop in uh, Kits. I, saw, I sold him on Kits, right? He was an East, East Van guy before, right? But Kits, Kits was really nice back then. It's, it's not really like it used to be, you know? It's really, really fucking uh, corporate and yuppie now, you know? It used to be, it was way cooler back then. So uh, now I'm a downtown East Side guy. I fucking love the downtown East Side. I don't even leave the downtown east side. I have no reason to. Everything I do, I do here in the downtown east side. So I never leave it, I love it. It's the best neighborhood in Vancouver. We're living in the best country, the best city, and the best neighborhood. Downtown east side, man, is the shit. Yeah, I love it here. And there's a lot of really good people here, you know? Some people go, oh, it's just drug addicts, you know, and shit. Hey, a lot of those drug addicts are my friends, man. And I love them, you know? There's some fucking good people here. Just because you're a drug addict doesn't mean you're a bad person. But there are a lot of bad people that do drugs, right? So you're going to get both, right? You're going to get people that are going to be honest with you, and you're going to get people that are going to rip you off. That's true with anywhere in life, anything in life. Biz even big business, right? You know? So what do they got? Who are they to point their fingers, man? They're hypocritical fuckers, man. Their children are fucking coke heads, you know? You know? They, a lot of them probably do coke themselves, you know? They're fucking hypocritical fucking bastards, man. Oh, SPC's in a fantastic area. This is fucking awesome area, dude. Oh yeah, there's people shooting up right outside, but I don't care. They don't bother me, I don't bother them, you know? It's kind of, you know, it's kind of let uh, live and let live around here, right? No one fucks with you unless you fuck with them, right? It's as simple as that. And occasionally you run across an asshole, okay? It's going to happen anywhere. What does SPC mean to you? Oh, this is a fucking oasis, man, this place. For downtown, it is an oasis down here, man. It really is. Uh, I, love it. I love it here. They, they let me hang my art here. They let me hang my friend's arts here, art here. PD's got his art. My friend, Girl 23's got her art. And the boy has his art. And last year, um, me and PD had a mutant versus the boy show. El Boyo, I mean. We had a mutant versus El Boyo show last year, right? And this year, it's the boy, PD, and the girl. This, this year's show, right? And uh, so we have a permanent gig here now. Uh, they decided that this is going to be a, we have a permanent show here now. So I'm just going to keep making new art all the time as it sells. I'll keep making new stuff. And I pre my stuff is, is cheap, affordable for your, for your average person. Even a poor person can afford to buy my art, right? You get your welfare check. $20, you got yourself a, you got yourself a real piece of art, right? And, uh, you know, and, and a lot of people like my stuff, and people collect my stuff, too, in numbers, right? You know, some people I know own 15, maybe 30 pieces, right? And some people might own five or six or one or two, right? So, you know, and people that have collected my work over the years, 
Because I've been producing as the boy since like nine, since like '95, right? So I've been producing since in in this genre, in this uh, in this framework. I've been doing this art uh, for uh, 20 years now, and people that bought my stuff 20 years ago. Well, well, still love their paintings. They have them hanging in their living rooms or in their kitchens, and uh, and they love them, you know. And they they cherish they cherish them, right? And they tell me that, right? So that's really nice when people say that. And uh, you know, have new fans, right? You know, younger people, right? People that maybe uh, were just babies when you know back then, right? And now they're adults and they're collecting my work too. So it's good, it spans generations, and uh, people uh, that grew up with my work, whose who parents bought my work, right, back in the 90s, they grew up with my work, and so they're familiar with my stuff, and then they always say something to me when they meet me, right? Oh, you're the boy, oh yeah, you, you got your painting hanging in, oh, I love it, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool, and uh, people are really enjoying my work. And, uh, what do you think of Malcolm and Andrew? The who? What do you think of Malcolm and Andrew? Oh, they're awesome guys, man. Totally awesome. I fully support them. And the community does too. You know, they're, they're great because they're, um, they're, you know, they're like me. They don't look down on people, you know what I mean? They're really fair to people in the neighborhood, you know, and they're friends with people. And so when, when you treat people, uh, if, if you treat people equally and, and you treat them right, they will respect you, and they will look out for you too. You know, they will. People, people look out for each other down here. You know, it's, it's a good neighborhood, and I love it just the way it is. I like it a little bit gentrified, but not too gentrified. You know what I mean? Yeah, just a little bit gentrified. I live in a safe building, so I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones, right? I live in a cool building, so a safe, secure building. So I'm happy, right? I can wander around here and then just go back to my, uh, go back to my tower, right? It's great. So I was really, I locked out, right? Yeah, I really locked out. Oh, I don't have to shout anymore. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm trying to shout above the skateboarding, right? Hey, Rob. Hey, this is Rob, the Viking man. Yeah, you want to come say hi? Yeah, Rob is important to the Buddha, man. Yeah, come on. You got, you got to interview Rob, man. Rob. Okay, it's Rob's turn to get interviewed. Come on, Rob. Your turn, man. What? Oh, we got to put the mic on here. I'm going to put the mic on you, okay? Okay. All right, it's Rob's turn to get interviewed. All right, well, thank you for interviewing me. Hey, thank you, boy. Be sure to buy my art. <laughs>